Here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can hide blank meta fields. So in some cases, if you have added all the meta fields into the description or maybe somewhere else. So in that case, if there are some blank uh, meta fields, then the values will be null. Those will be showing as a blank. So how you can actually hide all those uh, meta fields which are blank. First of all, I have to uh, show you the original, like how it will look like. So I have solved that. For example, I have this description and here I have some meta fields key and values so here you can see that I have all those meta fields which are having the value but in some cases if you don't have then how it will look like let me undo the changes so there are simply two steps the first step is like uh, wherever you have rich text you need to convert into the liquid type and other thing is like you have to put some conditions using code so let me show you uh, how it is looking like in your meta field so i have this settings and here you can see that for example uh, custom data we have meta fields and on the products we have a lot of meta fields here can you see we have uh, the name this is the title and this is actually the key through which you can access the meta fields this is one thing another thing is like for example i have this product you might have seen that here we actually add some key values in the meta fields so here you can see that we have uh, a lot of other meta fields which are already blank so these will be definitely showing on the product page but right now you can see that these are not showing why because i have solved put some conditions because of that the blank are hided let me first of all go to see the code uh, here you can see that i have actually opened this you need to go to the themes then click on these three dots click on edit code and inside of this edit code you have to go to uh, whichever page where you are implementing that for example in this case i have the product page so go to the sections scroll it down we have we will have main dash product dot liquid and currently you can see that this is a collapse collapsible tab i need to search here collapse here we go now you can see that we have collapsible row and inside of it because of this code we are displaying that uh, meta field but important thing is like this is the content you can see that blog.settings.content so i have uh, earlier this content was uh, the type of rich text let me show you how in at the end you can see that we have uh, let me see uh, here we have collapsible tabs can you see so we have the headings and we have the checkbox and then we have the content so right now we are dealing with, dealing with the content so here in the content the type was rich text earlier so let me show you how it will look like r i c h t e x t rich text and here you can also see that i have this question on the community tab so here definitely they will have given the steps but in most of the cases people don't able to understand that how uh, we can solve that yeah here you can see that we have rich text type is rich text id is content so in the case of content we had rich text so in the same way i have added again rich text and let's click on save if i clicked save then if i am refreshing this page i already took the backup of this code let me refresh this page again now you can see that we have some conditions uh, some conditions so these conditions are not much visible in case of uh, rich text so i did like i uh, converted this rich text to liquid so in that way it become more easier for me to see the code so i added liquid then clicked on save the changes and then if i am refreshing this page again now you can see that uh, the code is more visible now all right so what i did is i i had uh, for example you added uh, liquid so in that case this code will be different so right now i have modified this code let me put the backup of this code so here i have this code this was earlier showing here let me put this old code let me save these changes now you can see that we have a lot of keys and uh, in some cases we have the values so you can imagine like we have the keys and we have the blank values for the meta fields so this is quite uh, difficult for us to solve all right so i have somehow uh, added some conditions i will show you how you can add it so here you can see that we have altura i already mentioned here like uh, this is altura larkura all this stuff is here larkura profundibly profundibly so there are a lot of a uh, lot of keys and values for the meta fields but the values are missing so how i adjusted these values 
let me put back the original code which I had actually modified I just copied and then I am going to paste it so now you will see that all those fields which have which are having the key and values those will be visible here other than that everything will be hided here you can see that this key is also the meta field it has the value and this also has the value because of this these values are showing let me save these changes and let me show you the original uh, code which I have created so in that way you will better understand that how I added that here you can see that we have Altura so for example it it has the value or maybe it uh, uh, it hasn't if you will copy from there the code uh, then you will find something like this like we have product.metafields.custom.altura so I have added one condition like if product.metafields.custom.altura not equal to blank so let me zoom it a little now you can see that we have uh, this condition and this is end if here you can see that this is end if so this condition is starting from here ending at this so if you are if you if this condition is true then you will have this uh, meta field uh, displaying on the front end otherwise this will be hided all right so let me show you how i am finding this product.metafields.custom.altura so here you can see that if I'm going to settings if here you can see the custom data products here we go now you can see that we have Altura for example this is the title and this is the key and value custom dot Altura so what does that mean how we can actually translate this the way proper way is like product dot meta fields dot custom dot Altura so if that is not equal to blank then we are uh, displaying this value otherwise this is uh, hide it so in the same way I have put all those conditions to each and every uh, meta field so in that way all the meta fields which are not having the value are you can say that uh, which are having blank value those will remain hide it and other the other fields which are having the value those will appear in the front end so this is how actually I solved for one of my customer so definitely this will help you out in understanding that how you can hide uh, your meta fields into any of the page uh, there may be like uh, you have any kind of description or something else but this case was related to product description and in that I have specifically collapsible tabs in some cases we have only simple description and over there we are actually displaying the meta fields so you can also solve for that the important thing is that uh, in the code you have to find that that specific section and then uh, change the type uh, from rich text to liquid not to all all right so this uh, be careful for that so I added the liquid only because I already know that this is collapsible row that's why and on the front end I am also dealing with the collab collapsible row so I am sure about this that's why and one important thing is like uh, in order to be more safe you can uh, keep the backup of this uh, theme for example you are clicking on three dots click on duplicate so in that way you will have the backup for example you are doing anything wrong then you can roll back uh, the previous version thank you so much for watching this video I think that this was very useful for you because last night I saw this and finally I thought that uh, I need to share with you as well the same trick so thank you once again see you in the next video